Good morning from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. I'm Jane King for The Street and today is Thursday, June 18th. Coming up today, May CPI and jobless claims are released. The June Philadelphia Fed survey is reported and leading economic indicators for May are also on the agenda. Well, fitness tracker Fitbit looks to outrun the competition. Shares priced at $20 ahead of its first day of trading, underscoring the surprisingly strong financial condition of a company pioneering a new era of consumer hardware. Now, the price is above the the 17 to 19 dollar range set earlier this week that range too was an increase from an earlier price estimate shares will begin trading today on the new york stock exchange under the symbol fit well nearly 20 percent of apple watch buyers are not only shelling out hundreds of dollars for the timepiece but they're springing for a spare band as well that gives the tech giant a profitable second dip into customers wallets that's according to data from slice intelligence a research firm that mines email receipts now it offers a rare window into the money making potential of Apple's first brand new product under CEO Tim Cook. The company has yet to release how many units of the watch it has sold, let alone how profitable it is. Slice estimates the company has sold 2.79 million as of mid-June. And shares of Jable Circuit tumbled more than 8% in after hours trading after the company reported results for its fiscal third quarter and issued a weak revenue guidance for the current quarter. The closely watched financial report is seen as a proxy for Apple, one of Jable's biggest customers, because Jable makes iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus casings. And that is a wrap for us. But be sure to track breaking news and analysis all day at thestreet.com. At the Nasdaq market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King for The Street. Have a great day.